respect and we're very proud of that reputation. Yeah, we get Kerrang! in the States and uh, we just want to say keep up the good work, guys. Good and pictures. happy birthday. <laughs> We're often accused of having a, a bias towards American bands, but by and large, we defend this by saying that most of the American bands are better than the British ones. However, give us a great British band and we'll, we'll bend over backwards to promote them. Bands like Wolfsbane, Thunder, the Almighty, Choir Boys, we really want to see them do well. I think the really, really cool thing about Kerrang! is that it, it covers a lot of new bands and it's not afraid to like give like a new band like ourselves like quite a good feature. Mm -hmm. like, I think when we were starting off, we were still pretty much unknown and the guy was like, you know, uh, a full colour picture and like a, a full page interview. And they're not afraid to do that, afraid to stick the neck out and actually back a band, which is really good. Over the years we've, we've backed a number of bands. I mean, we were writing about Met Metallica and Megadeth long before many people. We, we gave bands like Faith No More front covers when they were only able to play the marquee and not sell it out. Um, I think we were the first British magazine to feature Guns N' Roses on the cover. Traditionally, if um, Kerrang! has put a band on the cover, it doesn't take long before they happen. My favorite part is when they put Megadeth on the cover. Yeah. Uh, to be in the front cover of Kerrang! after buying it and reading it for so many years was something that you dreamed about. It's like, you know, having a, a, a single that does well, an album that does well, it's the same kind of feeling. It was really good. I mean, got a lot of exposure out of it.
do you want? Some bands we cover are definitely the product of a street level buzz, but we like to think that our writers are out in the clubs, not just in London, but all over the country, and they're aware of that buzz before it really spreads, so we like to think that we've, we've been there when the buzz began. All right. Happy birthday, Karang. Thanks for letting us play your 10th anniversary bash. It's a real honour. And uh, here's to another 10 years. Mm. And uh, another front cover would be quite good as well, please. Thank you. I know you say I'm running on her. Cause I'll get to you. I know you say I'm praying. God won't see you through. Oh, I believe in nothing. I believe in nothing. So don't believe in nothing. I think the strongest selling points of Kerrang! have to be the strength of its photos, the quality of its writing, and the, the sense of humour that we inject. We're, we're very irreverent about some bands. Some people say we're rude, but I think most of our readers really appreciate that. It's, it's just all done in good fun, and heavy metal is, is and should be fun. Well, I think, obviously, this is probably the magazine that most kids read that listen to our music. I mean, it's definitely the heaviest magazine in England. I mean, there's a couple other magazines here, too, but I mean, I think when you think of a heavy magazine, it's just Kerrang! Cause maybe it's because it's been around the longest and uh, it's got some sort of reputation, you know, and it's the most informative. I think they have a lot of fun in their magazine, too. I mean, a lot of the stuff I can't understand because it's English dialect. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one time they called us the dog's bollocks, and I thought, wow, that's terrible. <laughs> but it actually turns out to be good, so uh, I think that's the thing about that. We try and cover the whole spectrum of, of heavy rock from from AOR through mainstream heavy metal to, to thrash metal. And we like to feature thrash metal whenever we can. I think maybe bands like Megadeth are an exception, but generally the appeal is a bit more limited than some of the mainstream stuff. But we try and cater for that section of our readership that likes it. Good evening, London! What the fuck are we doing out there tonight, huh? We're gonna do a song for you off of our new record right now. This is a song off of Rust in Peace. This is a song called New Creature. <laughs>
think that it's a pretty fair representation about what's going on in metal. You know, a lot of magazines are kind of, well, they have a little metal section and the rest is something else or it's all mixed up. But Kerrang! is pretty much, if you want to find out what's happening in heavy metal, which most of us do, that's pretty much your best magazine to look at. Typical Kerrang! reader. I think you'd have to be slightly mad. Um, completely devoted to heavy metal, I presume. I like to think the, the typical Kerrang! reader, who may be a, a man or a, or a girl, uh, would buy the magazine every week, go to, to go to a gig as often as they could, and uh, probably buy an album or two a week, and just just live the music, same as most of us do. I'm Nick Menza. I'm Dave Mustaine. This is Marty Friedman. And I'm David Olufsen, and we're from Megadeth, and we're wishing Krang a happy 10th anniversary. Here's to 10 more. Okay, that's it for our coverage.